Our sun consumes a staggering 600 million tons of hydrogen gas every second, producing 385 yottawatts of electricity, or 5 times 10 to the 23rd horsepower. Yes, that's right, horsepower. This amount of energy could melt a bridge of ice 3.2 kilometers wide, 1.6 kilometers thick, at one astronomical unit long in a single second. Harnessing energy produced by way of nuclear fusion like this would eliminate the need for fossil fuels to produce our energy. The problem with that amount of power is it's produced by a giant, massive ball of hot plasma that we call our sun. But could we scale this down and create a real artificial star to produce our energy? In fact, yes we can, and it's already been done by China a couple of years ago at the Institute of Physical Sciences. Their experiment of creating an artificial star burned deuterium and tritium, like Dr. Octavius in Spider-Man 2, only at 50 million degrees Celsius and only for 102 seconds before the core of the nuclear fusion reactor melted. The most modern and high-tech internal combustion engines have an efficiency of, at best, 50%. This means that 50% of the gasoline burned in the combustion chamber is actually spent on moving the vehicle. The other 50% is lost as heat, escaping out into the universe. Solar panels convert, on average, 20% of the light reaching them from the sun into electricity. No process can achieve 100% efficiency, but the closest we could viably get is creating an artificial star. This man-made star in China burning one kilogram of fuel would be the equivalent energy of about 100 million kilograms of fossil fuels. According to worldometers.info, which is a really interesting site, I highly suggest you look at it, we only have about 45 years left of oil at our current rate of consumption. Oil is the backbone of the modern world. Everything in your possession was transported to your relative location either by gasoline or diesel. Maybe someday soon electric vehicles will start to take over. But I don't see the whole world switching entirely over to electric vehicles anytime soon. We rely on the internal combustion engine too much. Perhaps people just love the sound of the exhaust too much, especially American muscle cars. Also, we don't currently have the infrastructure for millions upon millions of people to plug in their electric cars overnight, although this is improving with time. Not to mention that many places burn coal in order for you to get your electricity to plug in your electric car. If taken seriously by more and more people and scientists, it may not be so far-fetched as it sounds to say that we have a small tiny star providing power to our households. Fossil fuels are dirty, being the main culprit of climate change since the Industrial Revolution. Hard truth is, we will run out of fossil fuels. Oil in our very own lifetimes, followed by the end of coal in about 400 years. To have small artificial stars powering our everyday lives, we would need to perfect the containment of the stars inside immensely high pressure fusion reactors, as well as capturing and storing its energy for later use. The idea is an interesting concept. I encourage you to read the articles I took a look at to do my research, posted in the description below. Comment on what you think about Earth-based artificial stars providing our power. Also, pass this video around to every human being you know and tell them to subscribe, because I will be giving away a ThoughtSpark t-shirt to a lucky subscriber of mine once I hit 2,000 subscribers. I really appreciate my little ThoughtSpark fan base. You know who you are, and I know who you are. More details to follow later on. I want to thank Zekiel Gaming for the ongoing support on Patreon. If you want to be a part of an exclusive club and get access to more content I don't post on my channel, link will be in the description. It really does help out my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and stay curious.